Hi everyone, I'm Mandy and welcome to my channel, Oh It's Mandy. So today I have the last edition of Top 5 Wednesday for this month. This Wednesday we are talking about our top 5 favorite books that are over 500 pages. Now I find books that big to be a little intimidating so this was kind of hard for me as I read, tend to read shorter books but I actually did find five that I absolutely love that are on the longer side. So coming in at number five we have Last Sacrifice by Rochelle Mead. This is the sixth book in the Vampire Academy series. It comes in at 594 pages. I absolutely love this series and the books just get better and better as they go on so this being the last bu book is actually I think my favorite and I think it is the most well written one as well. Coming in at number four we have Cress by Marissa Meyer. This is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series. This book clocks in at 550 pages. So this book took me a while to get into but once I was in the world and in it I could not put it down. I was originally intimidated by its size but I found that it didn't read like a long book if that makes sense. I am super excited for the next one. Coming in at number three, we have The Land of Stories, The Enchantress Returns by Chris Colfer. This book comes in at 517 pages, so just over the 500 page mark. This is the second book in the Land of Stories series. This is a middle grade series, but I do quite enjoy it, and it's probably because I enjoy basically anything to do with fairy tales and princes and princesses and that type of stuff, so... Coming in at number two is a recent read for me, and that is The Other Bowling Girl by Philippa Gregory. This book comes in at 661 pages. So this book is very long, but it never ever dragged for me. I was always interested in what was going on, and when I put it down, it always stayed in my mind, and I could not wait until I could pick it up again. Coming in at number one is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This book is 734 pages like the longest, one of the longest books I have ever read. But it is so good and it is one of the Harry Potter books that I find to be the most action-packed and the most things happen in it. This is definitely one of my favorite in the series and it is just fantastic and even though it is a humongous book, you find yourself lost in the world and you never want it to end. So that is all I have for you this week. Please let me know what some of your favorite longer books are down in the comments below. I would love to know and discuss them with you and I will see you next time. Bye!